This is the Reolink RLC811A and this is a 4K IP PoE camera and with the latest firmware. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check and review the Reolink RLC811A. This is an IP PoE or power over Ethernet NVR camera that is recording in 4K resolution. Has a spotlight for color night vision and also has two-way audio. I actually compared this camera before this full review to Reolink's 12 megapixel RLC 1212A. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it down below. We will check out its features, do a quick unboxing, set it up, and do our usual testing. And see if this RLC 811A is going to be a good option as a wired IP camera for your home security needs. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. Let's check out its features. So this camera records in 4K quality, 3840 by 2160 pixel resolution at 25 frames per second. It has AI, smart person, and vehicle detection. It has a siren and also has spotlights that can be manually activated or triggered when it detects motion. It has two-way audio. It has color night vision and it does have five spotlights that can be set to turn on when it detects motion at night. And the spotlights have a max output of 450 lumens. It does have the traditional infrared night vision when it is too dark and the spotlights are off. It also has a 5x optical zoom so it can adjust the field of view of this camera from the widest 105 degrees to 31 degrees horizontal and 55 degrees to 17 degrees vertical. This RLC 811A, just like all other wired IP cameras from Reolink, it has multiple recording options. You have a choice for the camera to record 24-7 or when motion is detected or you can schedule the recordings. You can put in a micro SD card on the back of the camera itself and up to a 256GB card and connect this directly to your router or PoE switch or you can use a Reolink NVR or an FTP server. This camera is weather resistant and has an IP66 rating. Time to unbox this. Inside we have some paperwork, we have a quick start guide, waterproof lid installation guide, mounting template, and a window decal. And we have an ethernet cable. We have an allen wrench, mounting screws and plastic anchors. We have the waterproof ethernet lid, and we have the camera itself. This is a bit bigger compared to other Reolink IP cameras. We have the five spotlights, infrared LEDs, light sensor, and camera lens. We have the speaker in the bottom, and on the back of the camera is a screwed-in cover for the micro SD card slot. And as to the wiring, we have the Ethernet port, and we have the reset button, and we have the 12-volt port for power if you'll be connecting this directly to your router. To set this up for an IP PoE setup, plug in the camera to your PoE switch or injector. Open up the Reolink app. Click the plus sign on the upper right corner. Scan the QR code which is on the bottom of the camera and it will automatically pop up in the app. Click the uninitialized device to set it up. Enter a device password. Click next and name your device. Then it is finished. Plus you will be given the QR code to save to your phone if needed. Click finish. Let's try it out. Yup, it works. As to install, it is easy, either a wall setup which you just need to loosen the camera from the mount using the included allen wrench so that you can move the camera out of the way while you're screwing it in with the three included screws. I also decided to install this in my front garage area which is an under the eaves install. Let's do a quick check on the settings in the app. When you open it, it will show the last snapshot event from the camera. Click on it to get to live view which loads up decently quick. In here, you can pause the live view, listen in, take a snapshot, or record the live view. Change the quality of the live view from full resolution, balanced, or fluent. This is only for the current live view and this will not affect the recordings which will always record in full resolution. And I just keep this to balance so that it will load up quick when I open up the live view. On top, we can manually trigger the siren and the flashlight icon to manually turn the spotlight on and off. On the bottom, we have the mic for two-way audio and is full duplex. Then PTZ where you can control the optical zoom so you can zoom in to adjust the camera's field of view and it will automatically focus. You can zoom out to the widest which in my setup, I just zoom in a tick closer. Then we have playback where you can view and download recorded events. You can sort this out to just person detected events only if you want. Clicking on it will play the event. 
On the upper right corner is the gear icon for the camera settings. There's a lot that you can tweak, but I'll just show you the display and quality. And as you can see, the camera is recording in 4K 3840x2160 resolution and with a default frame rate of 25 frames per second. And you can also adjust the bit rate from here. Then we have detection alarm where you can set the detection zone. Also, take note that the gray out area that you paint is the area or areas you don't want to get notifications. You can adjust the sensitivity of the motion and also adjust the sensitivity of the person and vehicle detection. There is also an alarm delay which you will only get a notification when a person or vehicle stays longer than a set time that you set. There is also an object size where you can set the minimum and maximum size of the object you want to be notified about. I only set motion zones and sensitivity on my setup and it works without issues. Pretty spot on in detection. The latest firmware also have pet detection. Camera recording, this is where you set in the schedule how the camera records, which I set mine to record only when it detects any motion, persons, and vehicles. But you can set this to record 24-7 by using the timer option. Push notifications, regardless if you set the camera to record 24-7 or on all motion, you can set here in the schedule which events you want to be notified about, and I set mine to person and vehicle events only. With the latest firmware, vehicle detection is spot on. And I'll talk more about this later on. And lastly, in audio and light, you can set to record audio, infrared lights, and on the spotlight, you can adjust the mode to auto to turn on when it detects motion, or you can schedule a time frame when it is going to be on. Time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio of building RC-11A. And video clarity test, this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, So this is the video quality of Relinx RLC 811A at night and this with its spotlights, four of them uh, turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So this is the video quality of Brelinx RLC 811A at night and this with its night vision for infrared LEDs turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet. 15. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Relink RLC 811A and uh, 1040 and I'm on my LTE connection. So let's check it out. <coughs> Whoa, that quick. Alright, so when you press and hold, yeah, there's no uh, rich notification still. But when you click on it, it should go to live view, which should load up decently quick 
All right, so it's uh, just uh, went to 10:42, so it's been less than a less a, less than a minute. So let's see what the cool off of the uh, 811A. <clears throat> well, barely less than a minute cool off, so that's pretty good. We are going to test the maximum detection distance of the RLC 811A, and uh, I've set the uh, motion detect uh, detection sensitivity to the highest, and also the person detection to the highest so I'm gonna go right here in my fence line and see if this camera can detect us at 50 feet nope not at 50 feet let's go 45 there you go 45 feet cool and it is pretty windy today. Like, see me right there. This is the audio quality coming out from the Reolink RLC 811A. This is the audio quality coming out from the Reolink RLC 811A. Okay, I'll just give you a quick summary on this camera, which actually passed my backyard testing without me updating its firmware. And I bought this camera September of last year. Person detection is good, but with vehicle detection, I'm getting some false notifications from parked cars. And I also noticed that the spotlights were on most of the time at night, even when set to just be on when it detects motion. And when I manually turn it off, it will go to night vision mode for a second, then the spotlights will turn on again. And I also noticed that the camera actually sees the parked cars and thinks it is in motion when the infrared lights turn on. And it will automatically turn on the spotlights. So this becomes a cycle on and off and on and off. Then I decided to update the firmware which fixes it and is now working pretty good as to detection and accurate notifications. Overall video and audio quality are pretty good and aside from the low frame rate at night, this is a good option, especially if you're wanting a wider field of view or just want to zoom in a bit more in your setup. And it does have spotlights and will record in full color at night. This is not a low light camera though and I wish Reolink will offer a starlight sensor IP POE camera in the future. And I'm still waiting for the rich notifications to be added on their app. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.